Do you want to act? Do you want to express your talent? Do you want to know the ins and outs of film production? Do you wonder how movies are made? How they pick do this and do this and just beautiful? Do you want to be behind the camera or in front of the camera? Do you want to be the star of the show in the spotlight? Do you want to learn voiceovers, animation, editing? There's several things you can do, directing, several, several options you can do. And God has answered your prayers because the TKP Drama Film Academy is here and here to stay. Glory to Jesus. What's going on? Who are you? Excuse me, what? Do you know who I am? Who are you? Jean Mappel, Mademoiselle, Louis Babanox. Actually, it's Babanox. Get your Babanox. Get your pronunciation right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you need to come to TKP Drama Film Academy so you can get your character right. Yes, and I am auditioning for the role of Mademoiselle. Glory. Louis. Glory. Babanox. Come on, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, come for the TKP Drama Film Academy so you can get your acting right and your costume right. We will groom you and teach you on how to do it. Let me get the information for you. Registration is open. Please register from six years and above. Please, parents, register your children. And also, the academy commences in April. It is open to everyone, not only TKP members. Anyone is welcome from the age of six years. Like we said, children, teenagers, adults, even grandparents, grandmas, everyone can come. We're open to register. Scan the QR QR code on the screen. Anywhere on the screen. Can I do that now? What? I thought you said you already registered. I am. Sorry. Je m'appelle. <laughs> Je m'appelle. It was only like Louis Bobinox. <laughs> Get your character right. The session entails three months of weekend online classes culminating in an on-site boot camp in July 2024. That's this year. <gasps> this year in July. That sounds like my thing. Oh, glory. I know. Summertime. I know. Oh my gosh. Don't miss this opportunity to Don't change your life and to get your characters to write. Yeah, come be like me. Some people need it. The right very, very Oh, glory. Mademoiselle, show my help. Mademoiselle. Please share the news Louise. to others. Babinox. Let's let's get her to the academy immediately. I'm ready in she it. Needs, she needs in it. it. You know, in it. In it. In it. AMAC, AMAC, AMAC. Now, wait, have you heard about AMAC? Miss Susan, why don't you tell these wonderful people what AMAC is all about? Okay, AMAC is Africa Missions Academic Contest. This is a contest that deals with supporting students in Africa, students who have hardship in their educational goals and in every other area of their lives. Wow, that is so amazing. Now, you said Africa, but I heard that you're only accepting entries from Nigeria right now. Well, we're taking entries from Nigeria now because this is our first season, it's season one, and we're still just pegging it to Nigeria only. So it's just a foundational season, getting to find two things. I got you, I got you. Now, I heard that you guys have about 200 entries right now. When we opened up this um, contest, we had a window of about 10 days for entries to come in, but somehow, Within 72 hours out of that 10 days, we received 200 entries. Wait, wait, so was there any more entries after that? Oh, for sure. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that you cut it off at the 200. Why would you do that? I heard that there was over 400 other entries. Unfortunately, it wasn't like we wanted to just cut them off, but we had a budget that we're dealing with. Wait, we have 8 million naira, which is equivalent to about $5,000, which is for the first 200 families. Ah, uh, so I get it. It's all funding, funding, funding. Ah, uh, okay. So what's going to happen with these 200 entries right now? Well, great question. Well, with these 200 entries, there's going to be five rounds in the contest. The first 200 that we have received now are going to be shortlisted to 100. Thereafter, that 100 will be shortlisted to another 50. And finally, the 50 will be shortlisted to the final five, which will be in the first to fifth position. Oh, wow. You know what? But let's get back to that funding. How are these funds being raised? 
Well, that's the exact reason why we're here. We're here because we need you to support us. We need your partnership. We need you to come into this program and make it real so that we can go from this first season to several other seasons in the future. Now, imagine this. $5,000 is being used right now to help about 200 families. Imagine what $10,000 could do, $20,000 or even $50,000 could do for these people. So I encourage you right now, get out your checks, PayPal, Cash App, and even your Zelle, and donate, donate, donate to this amazing cause. And remember that God will what? Bless, Bless you. you. As you donate, make a reference of AMAC on your checks, on your Cash App, or whatever means of donation you have used. Thank, Thank you. you.
Lift up your hands and bless the name of Jesus. Yes, the name of Jesus. There is no like him. There is no like that name. That name is a special name. That name brings healing. That name brings deliverance. That name brings healing. And it will bring it into our midst this morning. Hallelujah. Give your hands to the Lord. Clap your hands to Jehovah. Amen. There is nothing we can give to God than to give him our thanks. There is nothing we can give to him than to give him our praise. And that is what we have done to do this morning. We have come to give it back to the Lord. Because he deserves it. Hallelujah. He alone deserves our praise. And we have come to give it back to him. to give
Come on, give him a dance this morning. Aha! Hallelujah! Woo! We are here to praise the God who has brought us here today to serve him. We're here to worship God. We're here to give him all adoration. Hallelujah!
so great There is no one else Wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Lamb of God, the Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valley, the one who is, who was, who is to come, the everlasting King of Glory. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, and the King of Glory shall come in. Who is the King of Glory? Is the Lord strong and mighty? Is the Lord mighty in battle? Lift up your head, O ye gates! Even be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, and the King of Glory shall come in. And who is the King of Glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of Glory. My advocate, the bread of life, the chief cornerstone, my deliverer, Emmanuel, the first and the last, the good shepherd, the Holy One of Israel, Jesus Christ, Lamb of God, the Messiah, our nearest friend, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, the root of Jesse, our Savior, is the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, we worship you. There's no one like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is none like you. Thank you, Father. Please accept our worship in the name of Jesus. This morning, send your word again to us. Even as it is written, you send your word, your word heal them, deliver them from their destruction. Please let your word bring healings this morning. Let it bring deliverance. Just let all be well. And we promise all the glory will be yours. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Now, just before you sit down, can you give the Lord another round of applause? And then you may be seated. Glory be to God. I welcome you all to church this morning. Believing God for a supernatural turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. The first service last Sunday, um, uh, the message was tied to supernatural turn around but we couldn't really get deep into it because the Lord just uh, as it were just took over the service the way he wanted it so we worshipped him for the most part so today by the grace of God we will look deeper into that message because I believe it's a message for all of us because God is about to turn things around for our good in the mighty name of Jesus of course, our theme for the month has been harvest, and so it's going to be supernatural turnaround part two. Psalms 126, 1 to 6. Psalm 126, 1 through to 6. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the eating, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us, we are off, we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his words in the mighty name of Jesus. 
a supernatural turnaround is a divine encounter where God reverses negative situation and turns adverse situation around for good. That is what is about to happen in somebody's life. In the mighty name of Jesus. You see, the supernatural dismisses the natural. When supernatural is in operation, everything that is natural is dismissed. A supernatural turnaround is when God steps into a situation and turns things around. I'm truly believing God that every one of us, this season in particular, we will experience supernatural turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, I mean, I can never forget, it's perhaps one of the uh, most intense and serious manifestations of turnaround that I have witnessed. I mean, it was a sister from the United Kingdom, a younger sister to one of our members. Um, it took time for her to get married, but then she got married and it was from one miscarriage to another. But eventually, after a miscarriage, uh, she got pregnant this time and told the sister that, well, I would like to have my baby in the United States. So she came. And then the sister brought her to me. I've known her as well. I attended her wedding. And so she said, Pastor, I have only one request. The day that I will have the baby, I want you to be around with me in the hospital. I said, okay. If that's what you want. <laughs> so the day came. It was early in the morning. So I was in the hospital very, very early, even before the two of them, the sister and herself. But anyway, and then they prepared her and everything was ready. And the doctor said, Pastor, you pray for her here. For this how far you can go. We will take her. In. I said inside myself, I said, glory be to God. <laughs> so they took her in. But not long after, the elder sister came out with the baby and she didn't come out. And the elder sister was crying. Ah, I said, what happened? He said, Pastor, they are coming for you. Ah, coming for me? What happened? <laughs> and truly, in no minutes, two nurses came and said, Pastor, we need you inside. Get dressed. So they gave me the uh, whatever. I mean, I jumped into the thing. And <laughs> by the time I got inside, there was blood everywhere. On the walls, on the floor, everywhere. Blood. I said, the doctor said, we have no, many doctors now, that we have not too much time to waste. We have to remove our womb if she's going to leave. But she says that to remove a womb, you must check with pastor. If he says remove it, remove it. If she says don't remove it, then don't. <laughs> I said, what kind of trouble? <laughs> there was no time for any long prayer. But I looked at her and I saw her smile. I saw a little faith. I had little faith left in me as well. <laughs> I held her hand and I didn't know what the prayer was. Doctor said, the blood has stopped. The blood has stopped. The blood has stopped. The blood has stopped. <laughs> Say, Pastor, you can go now. <laughs> Come on, give the Lord a really big hand. <laughs> I was shaking. <laughs> but that is supernatural turnaround. Two minutes to remove removing a womb, everything turned around. The footprint of God is so big that when it steps in, everything else steps aside. The demonstration of supernatural, however, reveals eight realities of life that I will go through very quickly. Number one, no condition is permanent. And the only permanent thing is change. So if you are going through adverse situation right now, it's not designed to be permanent. And in my life, I've been through many, many negative situations. And when I looked at how did we, how did we get over that? How? How? And I just suddenly we realized that no condition is permanent. So because no condition is permanent, that's why the blind could say, once I was blind, now I see. The poor can say, once I was poor, and now I'm rich. The single will soon say, once I was single, but now I am married. The barren will soon say, once I was barren, and now I'm fruitful. If you believe that, give the Lord a really big hand. 
the second reality is that you cannot write off anybody and you must not lose hope on anything because of supernatural turnaround because you can be embarrassed cases that you look at and say forget it this is over if God steps in and turn things around you will be shocked the woman with the issue of blood encountered the spiritual against the tradition because you are not meant to mingle with people when you are having issue of blood but the woman could not care less she said if only I could touch the hem of his garment I will be made whole the spiritual encounter of the man born blind dazzled everyone it was mind-blowing. This man was born blind. Everybody knew him in the city. And suddenly they saw him. Say, could this be the man? Some said, it looks like him. They said, no, it can't be him. And he said, I am the one. <laughs> when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Somebody is going to have a dream-like miracle. Even you won't be able to believe it in the name of Jesus. Number three, the third reality is that in the workings of the supernatural, you cannot put God in a box. You can't tell God, this is how I want you to do it. You know, there was one interesting character in scripture, Naaman. Naaman was a you know, powerful man, a general in the army, but was a leper. And so one thing led to the other. You know the story, Second Kings chapter 5. By the time he got to the house of Elisha, Elisha didn't even show up. Send girls, go and tell this man, just go to Jordan, dip yourself seven times, and you will be made whole. Ah. The man said, Jordan, ah. of all the rivers, there are rivers in uh, Dam the rivers of Damascus. Uh, Abana, Fapa River, not better than Jordan. Shouldn't I go and dip in them and be made whole? Thank God he has some very wise servants. Sometimes servants can be wiser than master. <laughs> anyway, you know the rest of the story. Dipped in Jordan and came clean. Now, if he had gone to the river of Damascus, he would have died a leper. In fact, he would have transferred more leprosy to people. Don't put God in the box. When he saw blind Bartimaeus, Mark 10, 46 to 52, he was crying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And finally he said, you know, tell him to come. And he came, what do you want that I may see? He said, okay, then receive your sight, don't deal. But then this man born blind in John chapter 9, you will have thought, I mean, you will just say, receive your sight. But then put up clay, spat on it, and ah, that should have complicated the matter. Somebody is blind, you put clay in his eyes. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> but you can't put God in the box. I don't know the way we do your own, but he will soon visit you. And it will be a supernatural turnaround in the name of Jesus. Number four, although your cooperation is required, the Lord does not need your permission for supernatural to happen in your life. You know, many of the times in his mercy, even when you are not thinking that this matter is possible, he can bypass you. You know, the Shunammite woman had been kind to Elisha, gave him a place to rest, cooked for him, and then the fullness of time, I believe Second Kings chapter 4, if you read 15 to 17 there, and the man of God said to his servant, we need to show some kindness to this woman too so get get her to come so what do you think she needs um, i said that woman she's barren as i observe you know did that gazai guy one day we'll study him that guy knows how to sniff and know what is going on everywhere so he knew he knew what was going on anyway elisha said by this time next year you will have a child the woman said man of God don't lie to me I know I've been good to you now if you enjoy my food just say thank you now but to attempt to lie to me I don't like it 
Now, if you know Elisha, we are studying Elisha, the ministers and workers on Friday. Elisha was a no-nonsense person. Now, when Gehazi misbehaved and took money from Naaman, he said, the leprosy of Naaman cling on you and your descendant. When 42 children were laughing at him, bald headed man. But they were not lying. The man was bald headed. <laughs> He went across them and, you know, they were all destroyed. The officer of the king who said, you mean in 24 hours there will be turned around in Samaria? Even if God opened the window of heaven, can this thing be? The man was only asking a question. Are you sure this thing will happen? He said, you will see it with your eyes. You won't eat it out So Elisha was a no-nonsense prophet. Now, this woman called Elisha a liar. We well, see where mercy is speaking. Elisha pretended not to have heard what the woman said. Nine months after, she was carrying a baby boy. Now, I don't know your situation, but the mercy of God will bypass your unbelief to deliver to you that turnaround. Can I hear a believing amen? Oh, number five. It does not take a long time for the supernatural to turn things around. It doesn't take a long time. I mean, if you look at the siege over Samaria, it said by this time tomorrow, 24 hours, Second Kings chapter 7, the leprosy of Naaman was ill in no time, just deep seven times. Although the woman with the issue of blood had been sick for 12 years, the healing happened in less than 12 seconds. Mark 5, 25 to 34. Although the man born blind had been blind for a long time, his turnaround happened in a moment. Although Israel had been in captivity for 430 years, 430 years, one night of divine encounter was sufficient for their deliverance. Exodus 12. The supernatural changes the adverse conditions suddenly. Somebody's turnaround is going to happen suddenly. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me look at your neighbor and say suddenly. Number six. The Lord Jesus is the custodian of the supernatural. Psalms 126 verse 1. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we are like them that dream. It is the Lord that turns things around. Don't let anybody deceive you. There is no miracle worker anywhere. No apostle is a miracle worker. No pastor is a miracle worker. No prophet is a miracle worker. If you know the name of the miracle worker, can you shout his name? Oh, yes. He is a miracle worker. He turned water to wine. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. There is nothing that he cannot do. Jesus is the controller of times and seasons. And only him can change the situation of man. Jesus is the unchanging changer. Don't patronize the devil. Don't patronize man. No man is a miracle worker. God can use man. He uses men. But certainly don't mistake men for miracle workers. Number seven, so we begin to wrap things up. The supernatural still works today as in the Bible days. Supernatural provision is available just as supernatural deliverance is available. I'm sure you have seen it. I have seen it. I can tell you many, 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 many testimonies. Even here. I've turned around that you never could imagine. Possible. Unbelievable things. When the person who has been on deportation list. In fact, this particular fellow, they've taken him to the airport. And then a call came to the officers. That no, that fellow shouldn't have been deported. We just got a break on him. And then the man was returned back. And by, the, by Monday, deportation thing had resulted to green card. I mean, how, how do you explain that? How do you want to explain? <laughs> when termination letter is turned to a promotion letter, that's supernatural turnaround. I mean, my manager came and said, that guy must be fired. You are his HR manager. And I said, well, you are the boss. I don't, want, I don't think what he did should have warranted his termination. He said, well, but his boss... He's my friend, and the boss would like to get rid of him. I said, ah, you, are the, you are my own boss. Ah, get rid of him. Why do you want to, me to be the one doing it? They wrote the letter, they signed it. A day before, they will hand over the letter. 
the manager of this fellow was fired from Paris. So my manager called me that, ah, this letter is ready. What do we do with the letter? I said, well, the fellow <laughs> who orchestrated the letter has been fired. So maybe the fellow who wants to hand it over will soon be fired. <laughs> my boss tore the letter. He said, there's me something. Ah, anyone trying to terminate you will be terminated. <laughs> Let me hear your believing amen. The supernatural still works today as in the Bible days. Finally, I believe strongly you must sow the seed of faith to reap the joy of harvest. Psalms 126 verse 5. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing bringing his sheaves with him. In the second service last week last Sunday, one of our sisters shared a testimony of spiritual deliverance, you know, from uh, breast cancer. But one of the things she said that touched me and the whole truth was that if she didn't tell you that in those nine months that she was going through that dimension of challenge, you wouldn't know. And that's true. She was a nurse, she was at her duty post. She was not frowning but smiling. That's precious seed. Seed of love for God. That even though this is happening, I won't let it affect my service. That's precious seed. Sometimes when you talk about seed, people think it's money. Money could be seed. But there are many seeds better than money. And truly, she was in church. But going through a lot. What seed of faith are you going to sow? For your harvest of joy because nothing goes for nothing there is seed of service unto God there is seed of your love for God just loving him in spite of your situation is a seed like I said before money can be a seed there are missionaries here and there there are mission work there are outreach there are things that we do for the homeless things that we do all kind of things even here to keep this going it takes it takes money you can sow a seed. There are different dimensions of seeds that will naturally trigger supernatural turnaround. Love, beloved brethren, I think the most important seed that we can sow in the kingdom of God is the seed of your soul, your life to God. Committing your soul to Him. Committing your life to Him. That is no longer my life. It's, your, it's yours, Lord. Take over everything about me. Do whatever you want to do with my life. Those that sow their life appear to have lost it to God. We find it. Those who you know, are looking to keep their life to themselves, you know, holding it to themselves, they are the one ultimately that will lose it. It's what we live in God's hands that prospers. Until something gets to the hand of God, you cannot trust the prosperity of that thing until your life gets to his hand your prosperity cannot last so if you are here therefore and you have not committed your life to him this is the time to do so that's the only time you can be sure of, of spiritual turnaround and if you have given your life to him what about the seed of faith lord i trust you i know things are not looking good I know they are not looking the way I want them to look, but I believe you. Seed of service, I will serve you regardless of what I'm going through. And then you can be sure that the harvest that comes will be that of supernatural turnaround. Can we rise now? I know my God will turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen my God turn it around. I know my God will turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen my God turn it around. Now lift your hands. If you are yet to give your life to Christ, what a great time to surrender to Him.
and you want to raise your hand above your head so i can pray for you if you are the virtual church and you want to give your life to christ just indicate on the screen it will be a qr code there my lord and my god if there be anyone in the virtual church or even here surrendering their life to you please save their souls to the very end in the mighty name of jesus the rest of us just one prayer this morning say father by the anointing of the holy spirit let me experience a supernatural turnaround in my life and in my family in the name of jesus turn it around lord yes talk to the almighty god yes lord oh yes turn it around lord hallelujah in jesus mighty name we are praying my lord and my god i thank you for your word i'm asking lord god of heaven and earth in every area of our lives that we need supernatural turn around let it happen even right now in the name of jesus we promise to return all the glory to you thank you heavenly father in jesus name we are prayed. now if you are blessed then go ahead and give the lord a big hand and then you may please be seated glory be to god well before we close the first service and get ready um, for the second service just um I've been asked to let us know that the, uh, the cruise to the Bahamas, uh, the children annual trip um, and family trip uh, will be closing next Friday, Friday the 5th. Now, if by then you've not registered and paid, <laughs> then maybe another cruise is the one you, have, you will join, not that one, because it's going to close on Friday the 5th. It will be very great. I want to encourage you to be there. By the way, the movie Cruise Part, part 2 will be shot <laughs> during that trip as well. be very great. Somebody saw the food during, on that movie. I said, oh my God, this is the kind of food. <laughs> uh, the food can be, can be plenty on the cruise. Well, the, the April born, they have asked me to please, maybe we should show their video before I give their, their message to you. the months you know January in particular because we were we were struggling with um, time we were struggling with the city of KD permit and the budget was 40,000 but God gave us 50,000 and that road was constructed now um, with $10,000 extra February did very well I think they did the VIP on the soccer field VIP on the uh, you know, on the bleacher. And then they had some extra too, I think. Yeah. March did the extension of the, of the bleacher. That was a big project. And then they had some extra money as well. So I was so confident when we were approaching April that this is the month for church because the anniversary of church is April. So now they are, they are, the contractor was so confident, he's not even asking us for money now, we just continue to do the work. So, but we have had to, you know, advance him to a degree. So he's moved on, the job is almost, I mean, you know, this week it will be completed ahead of their times given in April. But they have 13,000. So they reached out to me that everybody is April in this church. Yes. <laughs> 
They said because the church anniversary is April. Yes. Now, why do you want to put why do you want to put the anniversary of the church? So they said everybody is the friend of April. Yes. So that this money you should please contribute so that they can pay the contractor. Now give the Lord a big hand. That's the message they sent me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> well, you know, you can't take that away from pastor. Huh? <laughs> hey, pray people. The Lord will help them in the name of Jesus. We will pray for them. We will give. We will support them in the name of Jesus. Please, let's put together our tithes and our offering and all the Lord has blessed you with, which you have come back to appreciate him this morning. I believe the envelopes are going around as well. And then the other forms of giving, uh, the ones, whichever that is best uh, for you, uh, please uh, make use of and, and uh, give this money. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. I uh, believe media is ready uh, for... Uh Hello there. Greetings and a warm welcome to RCC to the King's Palace. Your presence, whether in person or virtually, is greatly valued. I am Demetri Ladili. I'm privileged to bring you to Breaking News Live from my media studio here in Katy, Texas. The March Power Conference, starting on Thursday, March 28, 2024, with Shiloh Hour at 7 p.m., continues with Power Night on Good Friday from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., followed by Easter Revival Night on Saturday, March the 30th, from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. The grand finale takes place on Easter Sunday with two services at 8.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. Our dear Pastor Tunde Badger and other anointed servants of God will minister under the theme, Harvest. Saturday's Power Conference includes the Easter Sports Outreach and Revival Night at the TKP Sports Center. Please join us for prayers and pre-anniversary sports activities. Make sure you invite friends and neighbors to this great event. Now, new members who have not yet attended the New Members Connect are encouraged to join us for an onboarding and engagement fellowship with our senior pastors and various ministry leads. Now, this event will take place on Sunday, March the 31st at 11.45 a.m. at the TKP Pavilion. Kindly RSVP by scanning the provided QR code on your screen. As Easter draws near, the TKP Children's Church is excited to announce its annual egg hunt scheduled for Easter Sunday March the 31st from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Parents, please stay tuned for more details on this event. As the preparation for the 18th anniversary of the church gathers momentum, please endeavor to be part of all this program by making sure you identify with the cell group in your zip code. For more information, please contact 281-391-7224. Excitedly, this year's anniversary includes the inaugural 18 hours members testimony day on April the 23rd. Members are encouraged to share their stories or testimonies of God's works in their lives, either by emailing the recorded testimonies to tkptestimonies at gmail.com or by visiting the media stand or media studio to record in person. Now here are the recording instructions if you choose to record using your phone. One. Ensure that you record in a well-lit area with minimal background noise. Two, record yourself or have someone record you in landscape mode. Again, landscape mode. Three, feel free to have family members join in the recording. And number four, please send the recording as an attachment to tkptestimonies at gmail.com. Again, tkptestimonies at gmail.com. Alternatively, if you prefer to visit the media studio to be recorded, simply scan the QR code on your screen. This allows you to arrange a suitable time to visit our media studio and personally record your testimonies with the help of our media personnel. Well, that's a wrap for this week's breaking news. Please visit our website at www.rccthekingspalace.org and follow us on our social media for additional updates and news. Get ready to enter into your week of harvest. God bless you and have a fantastic week ahead. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Uh, quickly, uh, please remember that this evening at 4 p.m. we will be having our Sunday school. Please join. Uh, media will put up the link again for us to join. And the Lord will bless us as we study his word together in the name of Jesus. Let's rise as we receive our tithes and our offerings. This morning, choir, please help us. Bless you. What are you turning to wine? the first service I mean as the third Sunday it's um, women all the time so just in a minute all the women can approach the altar and just lift their hands and just make a request known unto God and we pray share the grace beyond our way Thank you, my father. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Let's begin to bring our request to a close. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you because you are the prayer answering God. This your daughters have approached your altar again by covenant. And I pray, Lord, that everything they have presented to you even now turn to testimonies in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, if there be anyone sick, please let there be healing. Whatever turn around that may be needed, Father, let it be released now in the name of Jesus. Let everyone return back with amazing testimonies. We promise the glory will be yours. Bless our offerings, Lord. Use it for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now yeah. ah, let your amen sound so loud. Yeah. So we'll be sharing the grace now, but if you are worshiping with us for the first time, you are the only one to please approach the altar as we share the grace. Let me look at your neighbor. Say, the Lord is turning it around. I say, surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen please if you're a first time guest please don't rush out if you're in the virtual church please get on the qr code but if you are here in person please just step forward so we can welcome you in the welcome room all right god bless you see you soon Something massive is about to happen. Coming from KT, Texas, to you all and your families all over the world. The Redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace, KT, Texas, is 18. We invite you and your household to join us for the celebration of the 18th year anniversary of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace, KT, Texas. Theme Multiply. Starting from Friday, April 19th to Sunday, April 28th, 2024. Come and experience divine multiplication in the most beautiful way you have never seen. Pre anniversary event begins with anniversary annual sport competition outreach. Friday, April 19th at 6 p.m. CST shall feature a massive anniversary opening ceremony to declare the 18th anniversary opening featuring ribbon cotton celebration, keynote address, vision recap, fun field outdoor family event, and the anniversary sports heat qualifiers and semifinals for the track and field games. Saturday, April 20th at 1 p.m. CST shall feature qualifiers and semifinals for soccer, indoor games such as ping pong, aka table tennis, basketball, volleyball, badminton, 
and several other inter-house sport events. Main anniversary begins on Sunday, April 21st at 8.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. with a massive pre-18 anniversary rally featuring all the TKP houses in their diverse colors and celebration heralding a week long of Thanksgiving, fun, outreach, and passion for multiplication. Our anniversary yearly features the most coveted 4D Crown Annual Talent Hunt and outreach competition in three domains, music, academia, creative and theater arts, featuring live stage ministrations, animation and comics, reading challenge, spoken words, short skits, music on the spot, solo music, academic bible and TKP trivia, debate and so on. This year, our 4D Crown shall be taking a new turn. Sunday, April 21st, will open our 4D Crown on our talent hunt with creative and theater arts by 6 p.m., followed by the 4D Crown academic competition on Monday, April 22nd by 6 p.m. Because Tuesday, April 23rd actually marks the 18th birthday of our church, TKP, we shall feature 18 hours of member testimony day and non-stop testimonies of God's faithfulness from members of TKP, past and present, and their families running on our YouTube platform virtually from 12.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. The last 30 minutes of the member testimony day will take place physically in the auditorium with celebration and dancing, cutting of anniversary cake and many more, leading us to the 4D Crown Music Competition starting by 7 p.m. Wednesday, April 24th shall feature a new and creative virtual 4D Crown engagement and virtual church celebration featuring all the virtual part of 4D Crown and a celebration of our virtual members and church starting at 6.30 p.m. For each of the days of 4D Crown, join our Rise TV team and represent Representatives from each house fellowships in a pre-event phone field 30 minutes countdown show on Arise TV, which starts at 6.30 p.m. CST daily. You will laugh and you'll be lifted. Thursday, April 25th, will feature a special virtual corporate testimony night hangout with our senior pastors chronicling the faithfulness of God open TKP for 18 years, streaming live from 7 p.m. CST. Friday, the 26th of April, features the annual anniversary praise night featuring special ministrations by Tunde Lemeru. Jesu Tomi Ulufua, Ronke Adeshokom, Rati and Wena, and the Kingdom Voices, who feature the Kingdom Seed Choir, the Kingdom Light Choir, and the prestigious TKP Music Academy. Saturday, April 27th, is a day of fun field outreach events for the whole family, featuring community mega outreaches. This day shall feature four outreaches in one. One, free community food distribution starting at 10 a.m. Two, free virtual community immigration consultation outreach via Zoom starting at 10 a.m. Three, community health health and wellness promotion outreach starting at 10 a.m. 4. TKP business trade show for all entrepreneurs, business owners and professionals starting at 12 p.m. Then, followed by the grand finale of the anniversary inter-house sports competition parade, both inspection and awards starting at 12 p.m. CST. Sunday, April 28th is the grand finale featuring our annual Thanksgiving and community awards in two services 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Power of Power and 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. from Glow to glory. Host pastors, pastors Tunde and Shadi Batru, venue the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace, KTTX Campus 5371 East 5th Street, KTTX 77493. All events shall be streamed live on the King's Palace YouTube channel, King's Palace TV, and on our Facebook and Instagram. For more information, call 2813-917-224 or visit www.rccgthekingspalace.org. Invite all your household and friends to come and meet with the God that multiplies his blessing over his children beyond your generation to your future generation. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. As usual, my name is Demetri Oladili, and with me is... Ella Gay. <laughs> I'm excited to be back, Ella. I know, we haven't seen you in quite some I time. I know, we just had a lot going on. But what's been going on? I know we're in the season of anniversary, yes, so what's, what's been going on? So for our rise, really, we've been just kind of discussing kind of all the different components that are going to be happening during anniversary because we know that it's a 10-day event but it's not 10 days of nothing it's 10 days of like power-packed events so you know i believe last week we did a quick overview about some of the highlights of the music from the Forty crown competition before then we discussed other things and today we are actually doing a best answer challenge kind of to give some insight on how the academic challenge is going to go so you heard that right, the best answer challenge, which, like she said, will give you some insight on how the academics piece of our anniversary week 
will go. And again, this, you know, we have like CTA, which is creative theater arts. We have music, we have academics. What else do we have? I think you've covered everything. No, we have a lot. We have a lot no, more. No, we do. We have sports. We have sports. There How can I forget sports? sports? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So academics is one of the things that, uh, one of the events that we actually do during our anniversary. As much as we love God at the King's Palace, we also want our children and adults alike to continue to learn and to be better at what we do. And so we encourage a lot of anything that has to do with academics. We, you know, we've got to hear the King's yeah, Palace. We do. Yeah. All right. So before we go into you know some of the questions that we're going to be asking, uh, and for those that are online, please just stay tuned. The questions will be uh, posted online, and for those of you that are in person in the sanctuary, please feel free to answer. I'm not going to tell you if there's going to be a gift, but every time we do this, there's usually a gift. It's usually a gift. Um, so I just quickly want to recap that payment for the Bahamas trip is due. Please make sure you make the payment for the Bahamas trip. Make sure that you have your passports ready. Make sure you have a six-month validity on your passport. If you're using a United States, Canadian, or British passport, you don't need a visa. If you're using, if you're a green card holder, you don't need a visa. But if you are a visitor to the United States, please be, invo uh, be informed that you will need a Bahamian visa. And so you might want to contact 713-517-4428 to get information on how to obtain a Bahamian visa. One more announcement that we have um, is uh, we're going to be having Aswani, um, right, Ella? Yes. Aswani is all sales are final, and this is for the business uh, business folk. Our Aswani Sunday is going to be happening uh, every first Sunday of the month. I think the next one is going to be for business owners. So if you're a business owner, there's got to be a QR code uh, on the screen. Please go ahead and scan that QR code. All right. So Ella, without uh, any further ado, I know we have some questions to yeah. ask. We want all of you to participate. We want you to answer and send your answers to the YouTube platform. Go yes. Ahead. And be sure that when you are answering, you want to type your answers correctly. We don't do misspelling here. That's, that's just kind of how academics go. So the first person to type out the answer correctly is gonna be our winner. Some of them will be A, B, C, D, those we will accept, but others are not. So let's prepare for that. So we're gonna get started with our first question. And our first question is, which is the 40th book of the Bible? Which is the 40th book of the Bible? A, Hosea, B, Matthew, C, Nehemiah, or D, Acts? Which is the 40th book of the Bible? I'm not gonna count that one. <laughs> and don't Google it. All right, okay. so someone's, okay. David Agus is Matthew. Yeah. Timmy Adebigbe says Matthew. Yeah, but since is that Timmy, correct? that Matthew is correct, but since Timmy Adebigbe is part of our media team, we can't count her. JD Adebigbe says Matthew. Okay, awesome, yeah. awesome. So David Agay, good job. Nice job on that one. And I think Timmy answered first, and please don't YouTube this. Oh, Jerry, come on, too late. So you're bad with the No, 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 we're not going to count Timmy because Timmy kind of has insight into our answers already. So, <laughs> let's All go right. on. All right, next I'm going to ask the next question. How many feet are in one mile? Again, this is not a Bible question. How many feet are in one mile? How many feet are in one mile? 1,482, 984, 5,280. How many feet are in one mile? Okay, I'm seeing one Damilola Debingpe, then David Age. Yeah, Debbie Lola, I didn't she got it. 5,280 yeah. feet. Awesome, nice. Debbie. Nice. Okay, great. Question three. Question three is, which animal was not mentioned in the Bible? Which animal was not mentioned in the Bible? Oh, A gecko, scorpion, kangaroo, or scorpion? For those of you that don't know what a gecko is, it's that animal, that lizard looking like. Yeah, exactly. A gecko, scorpion, kangaroo, oh, scorpion. <laughs> okay, King's Palace said A, King's Palace, I'm kind of worried. <laughs> King's Palace says... King's Palace said A. Okay, I'm seeing kangaroo. Jeremiah Aga, do you see that? I do, Jeremiah Aga. 
No, Demi Lola is in the media, so she doesn't count. Sorry. Demi Lola is in the media, so she can't count. Okay, Demi Lola, come sit over here. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got the next question. Yeah, question uh, four. Question number four says, what is the adverb in the following sentence? What is the adverb in the following sentence? The manager briefly discussed the new assignment. What is the adverb in the following sentence? The manager briefly discussed the new assignment. English 101. English adverb. 101. Very yeah. Well, Pronoun. What is an adverb? What is an adverb? Yeah. Okay. Why are you going to do this, Ella? I know. I just I'm <laughs> What is an adverb? Which one is an adverb? Why are you going to do this on live TV, Ella? <laughs> I, just, I was just asking. I was just asking. I'll tell you what an adverb is once somebody answers the question. Okay. In okay. private. In private. <laughs> All right, okay, we have... An adverb actually qualifies a verb, is that correct? It does. There you go. <laughs> it does qualify a verb, right? Yeah. All right, now, okay, Debbie Lola, Debbie Quick got it for briefly, nice. She does kind of have a hedgeway though, but you know, that's kind of how life works. All right, question five. Question five is, what is the SI unit of displacement? What is the SI unit of displacement? Ella, what is SI? Oh, I got gotcha. uh, The standard in in instrument. Uh, instrument. Yeah, standard instrument. I actually know what this is, because you know, because I know what it is, but put, I just I'll don't think I should slides. share it for them. You know what I'm saying? I got gotcha. you. What is the SI unit of displacement? I haven't seen any answer at all. Jeremiah Aga says meters. It is meters, actually. Awesome, Jerry. Way to go. And Jerry's where? Jerry's in uh, South Carolina? North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah. Shout out to you, Jerry. I like this one. Question number six. Which country did the United States of America buy Alaska from? Which country did the U.S. buy Alaska from? Germany, Singapore, England, and Russia. Y'all gotta get this right. This is so easy, though. This is for all of our all of our U.S. U.S. students should be able to answer this. Everyone in the building here should be able to should answer be able the to question. Answer exactly. Which country did the U.S. buy Alaska from? Germany, Singapore, England, Russia, and possibly Nigeria. Did you say possibly Nigeria? I, we got you land. Know, we can sell Nigeria. We got land. We have land. We do have land. No, we do have land. All right. So the correct answer is Russia. And Demi Lola got that first. Demi Lola got that first, okay. yeah. All right, question number seven. Question number seven. Which era marked a switch from agricultural practices to industrial practices? That's mean, Ella. This is such an easy question, though. I think it's just the wording. So which era marked a switch from agricultural practices to industrial practices? To industrial practices. practices. I wouldn't know myself either. You wouldn't know? Yeah. This is, this is like simple 101. When we go from agriculture to all of our machines, our car engines, yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> but I'm not gonna say. Okay, so the correct answer is the industrial, industrial revolution. Era. Industrial revolution, yeah. Industrial revolution. Or industrial era, you said era. I did say era, but it's known as the Industrial Revolution. Okay. So should we give it for Industrial Era as well? Who said that? <laughs> I think we should keep it at All right. Uh, question number eight. This is a Bible question, and everybody should know that. How many bears did Elijah send to attack the children that made fun of his bald head? This is a simple question. How many bears did Elijah send to attack the children that made fun of his bald head? Let's see. Very simple question. Very simple question. Too bad I'm only seeing wrong answers. D three? Look at the, wait, 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 under the, under the major, I want you to look at the question. So Damian Lotus says three, she changes to four, Jim Ragus says three, three, David three, four, three. four, I'm seeing one, I'm all, ju I'm just seeing wrong answers. Sharon Awana, where's Sharon? Sharon, Sharon, Sharon up there in the north. St. Louis? <laughs> yeah. She's in St. Louis. Okay, wow, finally got the right answer. David Aga, the answer is zero. It's not Elijah, it's who, Uncle Demeji? Yep. Who is it? It's not Elijah that sent the bears. Who sent the bears? Is it Elijah? 
Elisha. Elisha. Yeah. <laughs> so Elisha, the answer is none. All right, great job, David. Yeah, right. pay attention. It was not Elijah. It was Very Elisha. Very simple question, honestly. All right, question nine. True or false? India is the most populated country in the world. True or false? True or India false. is the most populated country in the world. Okay, you know. Pastor Jyoti is here. She can tell us. True or false? India is the most populated country in the world. Tell us. She says yes, it is. Yeah, China is actually not China. Popular. China. Yeah, All right, we got China from false. the house. Yeah. So David. Okay, David Age got it. Even though he said true and then false, he just put both answers to be safe. Should we count it? Yeah, it's false. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is a question. Question number ten. Everybody should know this. True or false? A rise begins at 8:30 a.m. Central Standard Time every Sunday here at the King's Palace. That Central Standard Time is so so useful. Our rise begins at 8:30 a.m. every sun Sunday morning Central Standard Time. True or false? This is an easy question. It is very easy. All right. Blah and music says false. I don't know what that is, but. The answer is false. False. Yeah. Sharon Awana, shout out to Sharon, says false. David says 9.30 a.m. David Agate, true or false? We're not asking for the time. <laughs> this true or false? Jeremiah says false. All right. Okay, let's go into question 11. Question 11 says, what would be the slope of a line perpendicular to a line with a slope of negative four? Ah. This is such a nice question. How are you in math at the debate? What would be the slope of a line perpendicular, perpendicular to, to a, a line, line with, with a slope, slope of, of negative four? four? Do we have any mathematicians in the house? It's very simple. It's a very simple question. It's a very simple question. Very simple question. Very simple question. And we got the answer. Nathan Awana, one-fourth, correct. Because the perpendicular slope is always negative the reciprocal. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so All we're right. about to round up. Let me ask one more question. Go ahead. How many wives? Now nah, let's not even do that one. <laughs> All right. What is the chemical symbol of iron? 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 I see a lot of chemists here or pharmacists. Yeah. I should be able to answer that question. What is the chemical symbol of iron? I'm not gonna call names. What say F E? It is F E. They got it. There you go. You got it. F E. All right. All well, right. So that's the end of our academic arise show today. Um, it's been great. It's been kind of see. You know, look up more for during our anniversary week. Yeah. Make sure that you represent your house. Red house, blue, yellow, green house. Make sure you send your representatives to support your group in the academic challenge for Arise. Any more announcements, Ella? Um, not that I'm sure. Be sure to look out for Aswani. They will put up the flyer, the QR code. So all of our business, or all of our entrepreneurs, be sure to look out for that. Awesome. And please remember Easter Egg Hunt is next week, Sunday. Make sure you make your payment for the uh, Bahamas Street. Bahamas Street. Bahamas yes. Street. Make sure you make your payment. All right. Don't go anywhere. It's an honor. It was an honor just to sit with you guys and go through this Kahoot. For those that have won, We'll try to get across to you to see if you want a prize or so. Okay. <laughs> we'll check. We'll, we'll, we'll let you know. All right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Again, this is Arise on Sunday here at the King's Palace. Stay tuned for a second service, beginning with praise and worship, then the word. Please gather your family and your friends around. Let everybody come enjoy the goodness of God in today's service. We're having a special guest today. So you might want to let the cat out of the bag. It's Minister Tosin B ministering yes, to us with the kingdom voices in praise and worship. You don't want to miss it. Get your friends together. Get your family together. And let's celebrate God together. God bless you and have a wonderful one. Psalms 126 verse 1 where we read say when, not if. He said when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion were like them that dream. When, not if. When is a matter of time. And say turn again. That is saying it has been done before and it will be done again. Let somebody say believe in amen. City of Katie at the beginning 
mocked us how can you start a church on a six acre lot when you are only six people do you want to share it one acre per person and it was as if it will not happen but it was a matter of time because we are here now 18 years after growing stronger grow come on give the lord a big hand it's a matter of time it's a matter of time i have come to tell you this morning that it's just a matter of time there shall be a mighty turnaround for god let your amen be a resounding amen them yesterday that a, a pastor's wife called me from baltimore was crying that afternoon say pastor Badu, you don't know me you've not met me before but where's your wife where's your wife where's your wife i said what happened he said just call her god my wife he said i'm a pastor's wife you have been trying to have a child you know, i just did ivf the third time and they call me now that you failed again i said why are you calling us he said, i had your testimony that you did eight rounds and they fail, but now you have a child called Isaac. Let's pray together. I said, All right. I said, How did you survive? Don't worry about how we survived it. Let's just pray now. We prayed. You know how joyful I was when, about one year after, this pastor's wife carried her baby as well. Why? Because it is a matter of time. It is a matter of time. It's our 17th anniversary here at the King's Palace, celebrating God's goodness over us for 17 great, amazing, and wonderful years. GT5. Ah, na, 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 na. That's great, Trump. Jude 125. Yeah, Jude 125. Okay. questions i am a even if my friends knows the question more than i do i am still a clap for yourselves good evening everyone thank you mommy shade for that nice uh introduction to our contest okay 100 points. Vine. Vine, correct. House. Okay. You want to see an answer? Vapor. Correct. 100 points. Genesis. Correct. 100 points. Transformers, 1960. Uh, A, repent for the kingdom of heaven. Time out. D. Co no, that's not correct. D. Sale. Correct. Is it Rosa Parks? Correct. 100 points. worship and uh, we have in our midst uh, minister Tosibi is going to lead us to the presence of the Lord this morning let's rise and begin to worship the Lord come on somebody can you lift your hands this morning as you bless the name of the Lord thanks be unto the Lord who has caused us to triumph in his name I'd like you to lift your hands as you magnify the name of the Lord this morning bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name Raise your voice this morning as we magnify the name of the Lord. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we magnify your name. Father, we give you praise. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Oh. 
Thank you for the privilege to be here today. Thank you so much, Daddy and Mommy. God bless you, real good. Hallelujah. How many people are ready to praise God this morning? Can I hear you make a joyful noise unto the Lord? Hallelujah. Come on. Let me see you praise unto the Lord. Come on, everybody. Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
your neighbor, where are you going to? Ask your neighbor, where are you going to? Now, help me tell your neighbor where you are going to. Tell your neighbor.
your neighbor. Go to 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 your neighbor. Lift it up now. 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 Everybody. I got joy, 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 joy. me watch me put your hand on my shoulder make sure somebody is standing behind you that person standing behind you is goodness and the one behind them is mercy if your neighbor is not standing behind you your neighbor is a suspect you are goodness you are mercy Make sure you are moving forward and your neighbor is following you. Are you ready now? Are you ready? Say, your goodness is running out. He's running out. Your goodness is running out. of praise and then lift those two hands if you can above your head and worship him father we give you all the glory we give you all the honor Jesus. thank you Jesus thank you Lord. we worship your majesty thank you Lord. thank you Jesus Oh, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the adoration, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who is, the one who was, the one who is to come, the Almighty God. Once again, with our hands, we worship Him. With a shout of hallelujah, we reverence Him. Glory, 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 glory be to your holiness. Accept our worship in the name of Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a joy in the house. 
We are really, 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 really grateful, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Savior, my advocate, the bread of life, the chief cornerstone, our deliverer, Emmanuel, God with us, the first and the last, the good shepherd, the holy one of Israel, the I am that I am, Jesus Christ, King of kings, Lamb of God, the Messiah, you are the nearest friend, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, the root of Jesse, our Savior, the unquestionable God. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the adoration. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Please accept our worship in the name of Jesus. Send your word to us this morning. And even as it is written, you send your word, your word heal them, deliver them from their destructions. Please let your word bring healing this morning. Please let it bring deliverance. Let all be well. And only your name will be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now give Jesus just one clap offering. I said one. Just one clap offering. I said one. Now give him two. Give him three. Can you try four? Now give him as many clap as your blessings will be. Oh, only ten. Only fifteen. Only twenty. Hallelujah. Now, let me tell your neighbor, I clap more than you did. I think, therefore, my blessing should be more than your own. Now, if you believe that, shout a loud amen. And then you may be seated. Glory be to God. Come on, let's celebrate our beloved brother all the way from Nigeria, Minister Tosin B. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hallelujah. One of my very close friends, you know, called yesterday. I said, ah, we have been looking for Tosi to B in Nigeria. I learned you are the one keeping him. I said, no. <laughs> Come on, let me celebrate the grace of God in the house. So nice. So happy for the first time in the King's Palace. <laughs> Glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Glory be to God. Sakemi, you, you are truly welcome. I mean, it's not exactly your first time in King's Palace, but all the time you have come, it's been on some serious protocol service. But we are happy to have you worshiping for the first time. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. We love you so much. Thank you. Sadiolu, you are welcome. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. All right. Now, let me tell your neighbor, Pastor is welcoming you too. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Man. That was some serious session of praise. Uh -uh. Even Pastor and when I was in serious. <laughs> Glory be to God. Oh, God is good. I'm believing God that it will be an outstanding time, even in the time of the world this morning, in Jesus' name. Because when the praise has gone this way, then God is set for something seriously miraculous. You will not miss your portion in Jesus' name. Her theme has been harvest all through the month, as you know. But the message this morning is um, very prophetic, and I heard him so many times repeat this same sentence. The topic simply says, he will do it again. I believe the Lord is talking to someone. That must be me. Now, if it's you, then say it loud, say it's me. It's me. And then say it loud, amen. amen. Psalms 126, 1 to 6. Psalms 126, 1 to 6. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the Eden, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are rough, we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. 
they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his seeds with him. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his words in the name of Jesus. You know, there is a very famous song that I think is old and new that captures the essence of this message to us from the Lord this morning. I mean, the song, for some people, will be old. I think for me, it's new all the time that I am reminded of this song. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. Almighty healer, heal the leper. When the cripples of him, they started walking. Even today, my God is doing Hebrews 13 and in verse 8, Hebrews 13 verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did before, he can do again. The captivity of Zion had turned around before. It wasn't the first time. And the Lord shall turn it around again. That's what verse 1 of our text says, Psalms 126 verse 1, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Verse 4 says, Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Turn again, he's saying, it's been done before. And it will be done again. Now, those who agree with me should have shouted a loud amen. amen. Listen to me. He raised Jairus' daughter from the dead. And some people probably said, Well, you know, this girl was sick. Who knows whether he didn't, she didn't die properly. And just, just Jesus Christ waited a little bit. And then the widow of Nain, in Luke 7, I believe it is, from verse 11 there, ah, the boy died. Jesus Christ didn't go very quickly. They put the boy in the coffin. And as the procession was going, Jesus showed up. and said, well, if you are not wearing there when Jairus' daughter was raised from dead, and you are in doubt. Now let's check this out. And then he went to the coffin, touched the coffin, and said, Young man, arise. And there was commotion. Because when the dead rise up, ah, everybody will. There was big shout. There was great joy in the house. Because what he has done before, he will do again. And people, some people said, Well, you know, we didn't even see the coffin, we didn't see inside the coffin. Okay, then <laughs> Lazarus was sick. They sent for him. He told disciples, "We are not going yet." He delayed two days, and and then by the time the news came, Lazarus had died, and he didn't move on top speed. By the time he got there, it was four days stinking in the grave, and they were crying. Say, "Why are you crying?" And they rolled away the stone. They rolled the stone away and he said, Lazarus come forth. Now everything in Lazarus the worm eating him up they gave way. The bone came back. The flesh came back. The water came back. The, the blood came back. Everything that, that died in Lazarus came forth immediately. I speak to your situation. They must come alive all over again. Dead cell must come alive. Weak bones must come alive. Dead tissue must come alive. Dead womb must come alive. In the name of Jesus. Because what he has done before, he will do again. Hallelujah. That was why. I believe it must be 2008 or so. It must be. where It wasn't 09 because we had moved to the new church in 09. They brought her sister in the morning. The husband brought, brought her and said, Pastor, she's lifeless. He said, then let's take her to the office. He said, no. This is not hospital. I know for a fact this cannot be hospital. <laughs> the church is new. Nobody should die in the church. They won't come to church again. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever will happen must happen here. We lie her down. And then we're about eight there. Pastor Roti, my wife, myself, I stayed with us this morning. The Akumas. We're very few. We began to sing. The name 
the name of Jesus is greater and higher than on earth. It is not an ordinary name. It's an endless full of power and grace. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. There is no other name I know. very honest with you. After every chorus, I opened one eye. <laughs> I looked at her. But I was better. Pastor Ebuna will kneel down because the sister is Pastor Ebuna's younger sister. We look like this. And then we'll take another chorus and another chorus and another chorus. And shortly after, close to about an hour, she sat up. And she began to address somebody. Say, you can't have my blood. 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 And then she jumped up and said, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. There was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. She went home, changed her dress came back to the same service and ushered on the same day. She's still alive and doing well. Come on, give the Lord a really big clap of praise. Why? Because what he did before, he will do again. Come on, shout the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to close now. I sense in my spirit that we must praise God a little bit more. Come on, give the Lord a big hand one more time. What he has done before, he will do again. And he will do it today, right here. In the name of Jesus. I said he will do it again. I said he will do it again. He opened the eyes of blind Bartimaeus. And so it wasn't a surprise when the man without eyes got brand new eyes. Sarah was barren. Gave her Isaac. To, to Anna, Samuel. To Rachel, Joseph. To Elizabeth, John the Baptist. To Manuel's wife, Samuel. In this church, with your lock by days, a set of twins. Oh yes, to, to the Jayolas. After 15 years, he missed your lua. To the Badrus, after 23 years, Bolo Atifa. And most recently, to the Bami Jokos, after over 14 years, Mofa in Tolua. Whatever he has done before, he will do it again. In this church, cancer has been healed before. If he did it before, he will do it again. Whatever he did before, he will do again. Whatever he has done before, he will do again. Listen to me and you respond. The sick has been healed before. Let me say he will do it again. The barren has been faithful, uh, fruitful before, he will do it. The overdue single has been married before, he will do it again. The prodigal has come back home before, he will do it the dream job has been secured before. He will do it. The delay project has been completed before. He will do it. Immigration problem has become green card before. He will do it. Multiple problems have been solved in one day before. He will do it. Whatever he has done before, he will do it again. If you believe that, come on, give the Lord a big hand. He will do it again. He will do it again. He will do it again. As I close, when the Lord turned again, the captivity of Zion, it wasn't Moab, it wasn't Egypt, it wasn't the Philistines. When he turned again, the captivity of Zion, he has to be a child of God. That's why, if you are not, let's rise now. I'm done. Let's rise, everyone. 
I feel the power of God so mightily here this morning. Before we begin to praise him again for the miraculous, the only loser here is the one that cannot be called a member of Zion, a child of God. That's why I want to give you the opportunity to surrender your life to him this morning. Whether you're in the virtual church or you're in person here, please surrender to him. He can turn anything around. Do you know? Somebody may say, you know, my problem has not happened before. Say, Remember ye not the former things. Neither consider ye the things of old. He said, behold, I will do a new thing. Even if your problem is a new problem, he can do a new thing. And there my yak, it doesn't matter. Say, but I've not heard he did that before. He will do a new thing. If you are here, you are not born again. Please surrender to him now. Just wave to him wherever you are. Friend the virtual church as well. They will put a QR code there. Make sure we connect with you. My father and my God. I've delivered your word. Ask me to tell your people that whatever you've done before. You will do again. This morning, please. Every challenge represented here for everyone who is a member of Zion. Let there be a turnaround. What you have done before in the miraculous, come and do it here now. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I know my God will turn it around. I have, I have seen, seen my, my God turning God around. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen, seen my God turning. I lift your right hand and say, Father, say loud and clear. Say, Father, turn my situation around for good right now. Let everything become be good, become better. In the name of Jesus. Rabo shake it a little. We turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen my God turn it around. I know my God will turn it around. Yes, I have seen my God turn it around. Again. Yes, he will do it again. Just take a look at where you are now and where. Whatever that you are believing him for, if he has done it before, then remind him that Lord, you have healed before, heal me. You have delivered before, deliver me. Whatever it is, and if it's a brand new, tell him you said you will do a new thing. Just in one minute. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So before I come back to pray for us, if you read Psalm 126 very well, it says, They that so shall reap in joy 
talks about precious seed. One of the seed that we don't make use of is praising God in the midst of trouble. It is a precious seed. Because it's hard to praise God when you thought you have been pregnant for four weeks and Sunday morning, your blood is flowing and they said, you, ah, it's difficult to praise God. If you are fired on Friday from, from job, your mortgage is outstanding, to come to church and praise God is a seed. But that's what God wants us to do this morning. I know we have two times given. Somebody 70, somebody 60. Don't be carried away. They are thanking their God. Now, it's a combination of thanksgiving and a seed of praise. So when the praise is going, don't, don't be, you're not in a social club. Because I say, where dancing in church can be a social club. It is very spiritual. And very, very, if you are dancing in church and it's not spiritual, if you are catching attention, you are just at a, so it's spiritual when David danced it was spiritual dance. Such dancing is a seed it's checks through scripture so the choir I'm sure they are ready we'll be for just about 10 minutes uh, the Thanksgiving team also I mean uh, families also use the opportunity to dance forward and after we have done all of that then we take the seed of your offering uh, it's okay like that yes. alright choir please. hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. Come let's praise the Lord. Come let's praise the Lord. Come let's praise the Lord. Come let's praise the Lord.
come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If you know you serve a very good God, let me hear you shout hallelujah. This is the song you're going to be singing. Say, Lord, you are good and you are my Yeah. 
minister to you. We brought to him the seed of faith, the seed of praises, the seed of rejoicing, the seed of thanksgiving. Let's trust him for the harvest of joy. Deliver before, please come and deliver. You have said the captives free, come and do it again. You have provided me miraculously before, come and do it again. You have opened doors before, come and do it again. You have baptized in the Holy Ghost before, come and do it again. You have promoted before, come and do it again. You have made a way where there seems to be no way before, come and do it again. Thank you. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Lord and my God, I thank you. I thank you so very much for such a wonderful time in your presence. Hallelujah. Everything miraculous that you have done before, that we so need now, Father, do it even now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Father, you have healed before. Come and heal now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. What doctors call incurable. You have not only cured, you have healed before. Even now, come and do it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. My Lord and oh my God, you have made the barren fruitful before. Father, even now, come and do it again. Yeah. Singles who are advanced in years, you have blessed them with wonderful homes. Father, come and do it again. The prodigal son return back. Every child so labor prodigal, let there be a coming back home. In the name of Jesus, you have restored backsliders before. Come and do it again. Lord God Almighty every need present here father please you have met needs before come and meet all needs again in the mighty name of jesus even if there is something that appears you have not done before you said i will do a new thing come and do something new oh lord in the mighty name of jesus thank you for your son that turned 70 we give you all the glory for his life. Father, we are thankful on his behalf, on behalf of his family. That engineer Joshua and Raymond Shayola, they will not pick your cops on the street. With long life, the Almighty God will satisfy you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Receive that grace now in the name of Jesus. The Almighty God will do something new in your life. He shall spring forth very, very quickly. You will never be put to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything you desire in righteousness becomes a testimony now. No sickness is permitted in your body. If there be any sickness hiding there, we command the sickness to go out now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the kingdom of God, you will not be found wanting. Sister Mosum, Rufai, we pray for you that it is set time to favor Zion is now. Everywhere you turn, you will enjoy God's favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not be put to shame. At the turn of 60, things will turn around for good for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you that whatever is causing you sorrow, the Lord will turn to joy. And everything giving you joy will not turn to sorrow. In your life, the Lord will begin to do something new. In the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy at 70, ah, you will not begin to bury any of your children. Sister, I'm also assisting you will not bury any of your children. The Lord will bless you with many more grandchildren. The only shout permitted in your home shall be the shout of joy. In the mighty name of Jesus. And for every one of us is a new season. We will go to bed in joy. We wake up in joy. Anything and everything that looks like a Goliath, the Almighty God will bring the Goliath down now. In the name of Jesus. Even as we have danced this morning, uh, our dancing has just begun. Because very soon, each and every one of us, we have reasons to call for Thanksgiving service. Two minutes testimony time will not be enough. Because of the mighty things the Lord will do for us. Mr. Tosinbi, we pray for you. And this is your first time coming here. Your journey will go higher and higher still. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will never come down. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will use you mightily still. Beyond what you could even have imagined possible. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, we will yeah, clap for the Lord. Now, only the celebrant will stay back for two, two minutes to give their testimony. The rest of us will now dance back. We've danced with them, so let's just hear their testimony. Church can sit down as well. God bless you. birthday, a birthday exceeding hope because God has done wonderfully well for me. When you are planning, devil has his own plan, so you need Christ. And I thank God for today. My father never reached 60 and 70. My grandfather never reached 70. So for the past... Two years I've been planning for this, but devil started his job, his work. In January, I've been using car for the past 44 years. I've never had an accident, but I had a lone accident, very ghastly in January. And my wife said, ah, this bad day, now I will. So I said, I'm not driving in Lagos again, that I'll be using Uber. So. I was riding Uber, 
I nearly escaped death again because one car crossed the Uber and he had to turn 360 degrees. Alile, let's go to America. <laughs> so, <laughs> immediately I, <laughs> I, told, I told all my children, meet me in America, the one in UK, the one in Canada, back there. And immediately I boarded the plane, I thought everything is over. Na lie. After taking my dinner in the plane, I just started feeling unease. <laughs> my stomach was turning. I feel like vomiting, like going to. I said, What's the problem? Mommy, let me go to the restroom. As I stood up, bah! I had that attack. <laughs> Mommy raised a alarm inside the plane. Fortunately, there was a doctor on board. Thank you. Who revived me? And this is me. <laughs> so, <laughs> praise the Lord. Thank you. So, on getting to US, I said I must see a doctor. I turned out all my medicals. To the doctor. The doctor looked and said, ah, you don't have BP, no diabetics, no, your cholesterol is low. What's the problem? He said, ah, let me do some tests. If it's negative, I will refer you to cardiologist. I said, it's okay. So he did all the tests and he called me. Ah, Baba, I don't see what is the problem. Oh. I can't refer you to cardiologist. You just waste your money here. You don't have uh, health insurance. So I said, what do I do? He said, bring all the, uh, your medicals. I show him all the medicine. He just saw the eye drop, because that's my only problem. He just look at it. He said, ah, well, this is the cause. Don't use this one again. And that's all. So I'm OK. I'm fit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, church. I thank my wife, who is an ordained pastor of RCCG. Wow. She's the provincial counselor in Lagos. So I thank you for, the, for your support. And the children, God bless you. Congratulations. For being here. Thank you, sir. Well, we, we cover you in the blood of Jesus. We cover the church in the blood of Jesus. We cover your entire family in the blood of Jesus. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. That that generational cause of sudden death is cancelled today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, you have done it before. Yes, Lord. So we are confident you are doing it again. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. I just want to appreciate God. 60 years. So God be all the glory. At the center of it all, it's Jesus that I see. I say, blessed be thy name. It's wonderful. For the first 24 years of my life, I guess I have an unremarkable life. No problem. God was just in control, even as an unbeliever. But the moment I turned to Christ, Father, I just want to thank you. Crisis will not be our portion, but God is good. He's wonderful. He made a way for me with my children, the three that I had, no problem. The little problem was retained placenta. God took control. And then things were going on. The hills, the valleys, God is in control. But I just want to thank God today that in, all, in it all, God showed up. And he'll continue to show up for us in the mighty name of Jesus. As many that are looking up to his face, he will do wonders in their life. Yeah. I want to use this opportunity to appreciate my husband. Thank you so much for being there for me all the time. I give you glory. I want to thank God for my children. I want to appreciate the church of God. They've been so wonderful. Prayer band, the health team, Dominion. God bless you all. So you be glory, Lord. I want to appreciate the pastor. 
Mommy Shade, Pastor, Pastor Namdi, and Mommy Maureen, thank you so much. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Ekuma, God bless you. God will continually increase you in all fronts in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. The Lord will keep you Amen. live from glory to glory. Amen. Many more years in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's clap for them now. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> I have one more small assignment before I hand over the microphone. Glory be to God. Okay. Um, the people born in April sent me to the church. <laughs> you know, in January, the January, people born in January, which is my month, we came forward and God helped us to have constructed the Alpha Road, um, or Alpha Way, as we call it now. It was meant to be 40,000, but it was, uh, we raised 50,000, and the road, the road is one of the most beautiful way to enter this place now. People born in February, during their February Thanksgiving, they had finished the project of the VIP um, stand at the, you know, at, at the sports center. People born in March did excellently well. They, they constructed the extension, big extension on the bleacher. So in April, the contractor didn't think um, there would be anything, just continue to, to do the work. So I think media will show the report and I will deliver the message. Contractor will finish the job latest Wednesday, Thursday. Now, April Thanksgiving is still a week. After all, we have power conference this week. So what they said, people born in April, is that every member of this church is connected to April. Because, because the anniversary of the church is April. And they said, you have to listen to them closely. Maybe there is sense in what they are saying. That if anything should happen, happen to April that is not very good, it's happening to the church. So that if you are a member of this church, that you need to rise up and become the friend of people born in April. After all, if your friend is doing birthday, you give them something so that whatever you are going to give them that you should put it in the offering bowl and mark it April project so as you get ready now to give your offering we have danced already ahead of the giving so now media will show the many ways to give so make sure you give you pay your tithes you give your offering if you want to sow a seed it's a good time to sow a seed and then April project because there is 13,000 that must be paid to the contractor this week and the contractor is not uh, no credit to it. <laughs> so that's why I think April people may be making sense of because they don't know any of them it's Pastor Egbuna, they know. <laughs> 
<laughs> Glory be to God. We have sent 2 million naira to the 200 people in Nigeria, by the way. So all those children, we've credited their account. The 100 that is left in the contest, we go into Kahoot competition, and then they will win another 20,000, I think, and then 50 of them will go to the third round, etc. And the entire money that we are voting for that is 8 million. I think as of last week, we have a, a donation or contribution of 1,000. Uh, 400. One person alone gave 1,000, and then somebody gave 100, and then so the, the, the response to help students in Nigeria, SS1 to SS3, to be able to pay school fees, pay for whatever exam they want to do, I'm still making that call. So if you are giving to that, you can call it AMAC, uh, um, African Mission Academic Contest, or just say Nigeria, we will get it. Uh, we must continue to do it. The second season will be in July. That will be all Africa. And then the third season, I think, will be in December. That will be all Africa as well. We must continue to look back to Africa. My wife asked me to tell you she will come up herself. But the cruise to the Bahamas, the door is about to close now. Next Friday, I think 5th of April, if you have not registered, then you can't make it. We've had quite a number of people, many people even that are not members of the church. I think it's a family holiday that you don't want to miss. Don't deny your children that opportunity. Um, there's a particular person joined because of food, because say, man, when I watch the movie Cruise, the kind of food I saw in that place, man. <laughs> and by the way, Cruise part two will be, will be shot again on that cruise. Come on, give the Lord a big hand now. So ushers, you can go around and receive our um, offerings, those that have an envelope. And if you are giving virtually, this is the time to do so. Give very generous, generously today, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, one more time. Help me celebrate Minister Tosin B. Wonderful one. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, shouldn't he come for one state house of praise? Thank you, come. All right, then. Praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together once again for the Lord, for all that he has done in our midst today. Uh, let's quickly go for the breaking news. Media, I believe you're ready. Please, can we run the breaking news? Hello there. Greetings and a warm welcome to RCC to the King's Palace. Your presence, whether in person or virtually, is greatly valued. I am Demetri Ladili. I'm privileged to bring you to breaking news live for my media studio here in Katy, Texas. The March Power Conference starting on Thursday, March 28, 2024, with Shiloh Hour at 7 p.m. continues with Power Night on Good Friday from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., followed by Easter Revival Night on Saturday, March the 30th from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. The grand finale takes place on Easter Sunday with two services at 8.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. Our dear Pastor Tunde Badger and other anointed servants of God will minister under the theme harvest. Saturday's power conference includes the Easter Sports Outreach and Revival Night at the TKP Sports Center. Please join us for prayers and pre-anniversary sports activities. Make sure you invite friends and neighbors to this great event. Now new members who have not yet attended the New Members Connect are encouraged to join us for an onboarding and engagement fellowship with our senior pastors and various ministry leads. Now this event will take place on Sunday, March the 31st at 11.45 a.m. at the TKP Pavilion. Kindly RSVP by scanning the provided QR code on your screen. As Easter draws near, the TKP Children's Church is excited to announce its annual egg hunt scheduled for Easter Sunday, March the 31st, from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Parents, please stay tuned for more details on this event. As the preparation for the 18th anniversary of the church gathers momentum, Please endeavor to be part of all this program by making sure you identify with the cell group in your zip code. For more information, please contact 281-391-7224. Excitingly, this year's anniversary includes the inaugural 18 Hours Members Testimony Day on April the 23rd. Members are encouraged to share their stories or testimonies of God's works in their lives, either by emailing the recorded testimonies to TKP testimonies at gmail.com or by visiting the media stand or media studio to record in person. 
Now, here are the recording instructions if you choose to record using your phone. One, ensure that you record in a well-lit area with minimal background noise. Two, record yourself or have someone record you in landscape mode. Again, landscape mode. Three, feel free to have family members join in the recording. And number four, please send the recording as an attachment to tkptestimonies at gmail.com. Again, tkptestimonies at gmail.com. Alternatively, if you prefer to visit the media studio to be recorded, simply scan the QR code on your screen. This allows you to arrange a suitable time to visit our media studio and personally record your testimonies with the help of our media personnel. Well, that's a wrap for this week's breaking news. Please visit our website at www.rccthekingsfathers.org and follow us on our social media for additional updates and news. Get ready to enter into your week of harvest. God bless you and have a fantastic week ahead. Lord, uh, please remember that uh, at 4 p.m. this evening at 12, we'll be having our Sunday school. Please let's join uh, the media. We put up all the link for you to be able to join. It's 100% virtual and the Lord will bless you as we all study God's word together in the name of Jesus. Uh, please, if you're worshiping with us for the first time, today is your first time of worshiping with us, please can you signify by raising up your hand if you're in the gallery or right here in the sanctuary. Please can we identify you and welcome you. God bless you. anyone. Yeah, let's put our hands together for them. God bless you. Please may you rise. Can you rise? Let's welcome them. Let's shake their hands wherever they are right now, please. After the service, let's welcome them the King's Palace way, please. And put your hands together for them. After the service, please come straight up. Our pastor will further welcome you in our welcome. You God bless you. We are happy to have you in the name. Let's put our hands together for once again for them as they sit in the name of Jesus. I have just one testimony uh, before our pastor, Mrs. Pastor, our pastor's wife come up, Pastor Shadi. Uh, I have a testimony here. It's from Blessing Okoko, from the Okoko family. The Lord blessed my family with a baby boy on Monday the 5th. Mama and baby are all doing well, and we give God all the praise. Let's thank God together for them in the name of Jesus. Let's put our hands together as our pastor's wife. Come up, please. Praise the Lord. Congratulations, Daddy at 70. Congratulations, Sister Mosun at, at 60. Amen. And um, for those who don't know, Elder Rufai, we are the same alumni. We went to the same secondary school. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for his mercies. Uh, last week, we went to Dallas with some women. And the Lord, I was given an award. Amen. Woman of the right hand. And I want to dedicate it to the Almighty God and to all the women who labor on their children. Jo Jochebed is whose mother? Moses' mother. Every woman who labors on their own children, this is dedicated to you. Amen. And also we want to, we'll be praying today, the women after we share the grace, we're going to come out. The Lord will do it one more time, yet one more time, in the mighty name of Jesus. Next Sunday is our Egg on Sunday for the children's ministry want to encourage you to give them baskets and also if you want to come and help us to put the candies in the egg on Tuesday at 6 p.m. man woman tall short anyone that is available come and help us on Tuesday at 6 p.m. and the Lord will bless you as you do so on Sunday one year to kinder will remain in their classroom downstairs all the children downstairs they will remain they will do their own egg, egg hunt in their classrooms and first grade to sixth will be on the field. First grade to sixth grade will be on the field. They will be served lunch. Please, you picking up your children first to sixth on the field next Sunday. It's going to be well organized, and we pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Like we all heard from Pastor, the Bahamas Cruise, we are about 160 something now registered. 160 something. I know there are categories of people, the people that work but don't go on vacation and they don't have savings. That's one category of people. They work, no vacation, no savings. 
They look back, there's nothing they spend their money on. They cannot really say this is maybe shoes and clothing, which is fine. Amen. There are some people, they walk, 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 walk. They save, no vacation. But some, they walk, they save, they go on vacation. And vacation requires planning. Not something you wake up and say, oh, give me discount because there's no discount there. Nobody gives us discount. You plan yourself ahead. This has been on since a year. If you have been paying 300 every month, you would have finished paying. When you look at your monthly spendings, there's a $300 you, don't, you can't even account for. You could have used it for your own vacation. I just borrowed you that idea for next year. Amen? So if you are registering now, you must pay 50% down. If you can't pay 50%, don't bother. I'm sorry, if you can't pay 50%, don't just bother. <laughs> because I know what I go through. So if you want to go with us, it's closing next Friday, which is 5th. I mean close, close, close. If I go back to book now, it's very expensive. You all know it's more expensive when it's towards the time. And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Power services when this Thursday. Tell your neighbor this Thursday. Power service starts this Thursday. Please be here at 7 p.m. And members connect next Sunday. So if you are here, you're worshiping with us for the first time, we want to show you a bit of our hospitality. Can you please rise to your feet? It's your first time of worshiping with us. I saw some people raise their hands on this side. Thank you so much. Please, we'd like you to please come forward. Pastor, we'd like to shake hands with you. And also we have some of our hospitality team. We'll be welcoming you. Amen. Let's clap for them as they come. Let's appreciate them coming for the first time. The Lord bless you. The Lord will do a new thing in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. If you are in the gallery, we'll wait for you for a bit. Amen. Let's appreciate them. Praise the Lord. Let's appreciate them. Amen. Let's Thank you so much. We also have in our midst Pastor and Mrs. Fola Ojo. Let's appreciate them. Pastor and Mrs. Fola Ojo, is there, are they anywhere? I saw them. Let's just appreciate them. Thank you. Please, women, once we share the grace, please come. And please, daddies, help us pick up the children. And if your husband is not here, please go pick up your children within 10 minutes. The Lord will bless you. And you will still meet us at the prayers. I'll be here waiting for you by God's grace. Amen. Thank you. Let's give the Lord a big hand. We are done practical. Let's rise, church, so we can. Now, as you will, if you are very sensitive in the spirit, you will have observed that the build up to this power conference has been extremely powerful. This Thursday will be a shield hour, be a time of intense prayers. And then Friday's power night is a vigil from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. I don't want you to miss the move of, this, of the Spirit. The Lord is doing some great things, and I, and I could feel it so, so strongly. Last Sunday, this Sunday. So please, on Thursday, it's only one hour, maybe 15 minute service, 7 to about 8, 15, 8, 30. Friday is 9 to 1 a.m. Now, Saturday, all the different houses, green house, blue house, red house, I mean, the power conference of Saturday will be on this, at the sports complex. I'll be there praying for all of us, but it will also be to plan a pre-anniversary planning for your different houses, so you know who's doing 100 meters, 200 meters for you. Once I finish praying with us, maybe about 45 minutes, short service on the field, we have a lot of seats now in there, then you will use that opportunity to plan in your various houses ahead of the anniversary. By the way, this power conference is right on Easter, Easter window. I think everything dead or dying will have to resurrect in the name of Jesus. And Sunday will be very extraordinary. It will be Easter Sunday and the last day, the month of March. So don't take any job anywhere. Just beg your manager that, no, no, I cannot work this Sunday. I have to be in church. Now, if you have not attended New Members Connect before, which is where it's an onboarding program for those who are new in church, Sunday after service at the pavilion, we'll host you to a banquet and then we'll engage you a little bit more to explain to you how things work here. Let us pray. Father, bless our offerings. Use it for your glory. 
You've promised us that what you've done before you will do again. Let everybody return back with testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. The power conference beginning on Thursday, my Lord and my God, please, Lord, let it result in outstanding miracles, signs, and wonders with amazing testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now let me look at your neighbor and say, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let me hear you shout another hallelujah. Now, women, you can approach the altar. Power and Pick mind. up your children while we are worshiping God. Be Pick up your children. The Lord forever and ever. That you can get through Right now it seems There's no way out And you're going under God's proven time And time and again He will take care of you oh, He will do He will do it again Just take a look At where you were now And where you have been It will always come through For you Don't you know God has not changed Don't you know God has not changed the 
things you're going through Karaboshi. and how you are autumn he understands just how your heart has been broken into is the god of the star the sea and the moon is your father he'll come the storm and find a way to fix it for you he will do it again he will do it again he will do it again yes he will do it again just take a look at where you were now and where you were you know God has not changed don't you know God has not changed you may not know how you may not know when it will do it again God of miracles cool. you have done it before another minute you speak to God yourself because he knows you he knows what you desire of him so you talk to him because he's your father truly and he's a covenant keeping God I know he answers prayers I've seen him answer prayers many many times seen him turning things around many many times all he's saying is just come to me it's come to me all you there labor you are weary you are sick you are in pain you are in tears say come to me We have come, Lord. Talk to him. Let him know that you don't have any other person. Let him know that he is the final bus stop. Everything he has done before, he can do it again. He's not special. He's a just God. What he has done for one, he can do for all. Open your heart to him. Father, you are our final bus stop. We have no other person to go to. Behold your daughters. Turn it around, Lord. Wipe away our tears. Let our joy be full. You know us as individuals. Please meet our needs, Lord. Answer our prayers. We come to you in faith. Please hear us and answer us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I join my faith with yours. And even as it is written, that if any two of you shall agree as touching anything on earth, it shall be done on my Father in heaven. Every of your expression and desires unto him this morning, even as we join our faith together, I ask that they become testimonies now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it may be that you have asked of God, I pray 
the God of Israel we grant your request in the name of Jesus so that very very soon you will stand before the people of God with your amazing testimony in the mighty name of Jesus it is written that weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning I declare and declare that the morning of joy is right now in the mighty name of Jesus he said in his word behold I will do a new thing and it shall spring forth for you may he begin to do something new something miraculous something only God can do may he begin to do in your life in my life in all of our lives now in the mighty name of Jesus as we rise from here may you rise to amazing testimonies and may your joy be full in the mighty name of Jesus thank you heavenly father give unto this your daughters beyond their wildest imagination what everyone would have thought impossible father turn it to testimony now and we promise no one will share your glory only you and only you shall take the glory thank you heavenly father because it is done in jesus mighty name we have prayed why don't you shout three loud amen in a row amen amen amen, amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. It, it, we turn again our captivity. We have a special announcement in May. May, May, May. Part of the thing is that women, we need to be relaxing. You can't just be walking, walking, and you're not doing anything for yourself. May, one day trip, we are going to go to San Antonio. It's only 120, includes buffet lunch, everything, transportation, sea world. All, you, you, you by yourself, you by yourself, just gonna have fun. May 11th, it's only 120. And also, May the next weekend, we have a retreat that's a prayer, fire, fire retreat. Very important. God bless us. Our president will give details also on our women WhatsApp. Thank you so much. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. See you back again on this mountain. Ah, grandma. AMAC, AMAC, AMAC. Now, wait, have you heard about AMAC? Miss Susan, why don't you tell these wonderful people what AMAC is all about? Okay, AMAC is Africa Missions Academic Contest. This is a contest that deals with supporting students in Africa, students who have hardship in their educational goals and in every other area of their lives. Wow, that is so amazing. Now, you said Africa, but I heard that you're only accepting entries from Nigeria right now. Well, we're taking entries from Nigeria now because this is our first season, it's season one, and we're still just pegging it to Nigeria only. So it's just a foundational season, getting to find two things. I got you, I got you. Now, I heard that you guys have about 200 entries right now. When we opened up this um, contest, we had a window of about 10 days for entries to come in, but somehow, Within 72 hours out of that 10 days, we received 200 entries. Wait, wait, wait. So was there any more entries after that? Oh, for sure. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that you cut it off at the 200. Why would you do that? I heard that there was over 400 other entries. Unfortunately, it wasn't like we wanted to just cut them off, but we had a budget that we're dealing with. Wait, we have 8 million naira, which is equivalent to about $5,000, which is for the first 200 families. Ah, uh, so I get it. It's all funding, funding, funding. Ah, uh, okay. So what's going to happen with these 200 entries right now? Well, great question. Well, with these 200 entries, there's going to be five rounds in the contest. The first 200 that we have received now are going to be shortlisted to 100. Thereafter, that 100 will be shortlisted to another 50. And finally, the 50 will be shortlisted to the final five, which will be in the first to fifth position. Oh, wow. You know what? But let's get back to that funding. How are these funds being raised? Well, that's the exact reason why we're here. We're here because we need you to support us. We need your partnership. We need you to come into this program and make it real 
so that we can go from this first season to several other seasons in the future. Now, imagine this. $5,000 is being used right now to help about 200 families. Imagine what $10,000 could do, $20,000 or even $50,000 could do for these people. So I encourage you right now, get out your checks, PayPal, Cash App, and even your Zelle, and donate, donate, donate to this amazing cause. And remember that God will what? Bless, Bless you. you. As you donate, make a reference of AMAC on your checks, on your Cash App, or whatever means of donation you have used. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you want to act? Do you want to express your talents? Do you want to know the ins and outs of film production? Do you wonder how movies are made? How they pick do this and do this and it's just beautiful? Do you want to be behind the camera or in front of the camera? Do you want to be the star of the show in the spotlight? Do you want to learn voiceovers, animation, editing? There's several things you can do, directing, several, several options you can do. And God has answered your prayers because the TKP Jama Film Academy is here and here to stay. Glory to Jesus. What's going on? Who are you? Excuse me, what? Do you know who I am? Who are you? Jama Pell, Mademoiselle Louis Babanox. Actually, it's Babanox. Get your Babanox. Get your pronunciation right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you need to come to TKP Jama Film Academy so you can get your character right. Yes. And I am auditioning for the role of Mademoiselle. Glory. Louis. Glory. Papa. Come on, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, come for the TKP Drama from Academy so you can get your acting right and your costume right. We will groom you and teach you on how to do Let me get the information for you. The registration is open. Please register from six years and above. Please, parents, register your children. And also, the academy commences in April. It is open to everyone, not only TKP members. Anyone is welcome from the age of six years. Like we said, children, teenagers, adults, even grandparents, grandmas, everyone can come. We're open. To register, scan the QR, QR code on the screen, anywhere on the screen. Can I do that now? What? I thought you said you were doing I am, sorry. Je m'appelle. <laughs> Je m'appelle. <laughs> it was only like Louis Bobinox. <laughs> Get your character right. The session entails three months of weekend online classes culminating in an on-site boot camp in July 2024. That's this year. This year in July. That sounds like my thing. Oh, glory. I know. Summertime. I know. Oh my gosh. Don't miss this opportunity to Don't change your life this, and to get your characters right. Yeah, come be like me. Some people need it. The right very, very star. Important. Oh, glory. Madam must show my help. Mademoiselle, please share the news Louise to others. Fabino. Let's let's get her to the academy immediately. I'm ready in she it. Needs, she needs in it. it. You know. Something massive is about to happen. Coming from KT, Texas, to you all and your families all over the world. The redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace, KT, Texas, is 18. We invite you and your household to join us for the celebration of the 18th year anniversary of the redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace, KT, Texas. Theme: Multiply. Starting from Friday, April 19th to Sunday. Sunday, April 28th, 2024. Come and experience divine multiplication in the most beautiful way you have never seen. Free anniversary event begins with anniversary annual spot competition outreach. Friday, April 19th at 6 p.m. CST shall feature a massive anniversary opening ceremony to declare the 18th anniversary opening featuring ribbon cotton celebration, keynote address, vision recap, fun field at the family event, and the anniversary spots heat qualifiers and semifinals for the track and field games. Saturday, April 20th at 1 p.m. MCST shall feature qualifiers and semi-finals for soccer, indoor games such as ping pong, aka table tennis, basketball, volleyball, badminton, and several other inter house sport events. Main anniversary begins on Sunday, April 21st at 8.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. with a massive pre-18 anniversary rally featuring all the TKP houses in their diverse colors and celebration heralding a week long of Thanksgiving, fun, outreach, and passion for multiplication. Our anniversary yearly features the most coveted for 4D Crown Annual Talent Hunt and Outreach Competition in three domains, music, 
academia, creative and theater arts, featuring live stage ministrations, animation and comics, reading challenge, spoken words, short skits, music on the spot, solo music, academic bible, and TKP trivia, debate, and so on. This year, our 4D crown shall be taking a new turn. Sunday, April 21st, will open our 4D crown on our talent hand with creative and theater arts by 6 p.m., followed by the 4D crown academic competition on Monday, April 22nd by 6 p.m. Because Tuesday, April 23rd actually marks the 18th birthday of our church, TKP, we shall feature 18 hours of member testimony day and non-stop testimonies of God's faithfulness for members of TKP, past and present, and their families running on our YouTube platform virtually from 12.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. The last 30 minutes of the member testimony day will take place physically in the auditorium with celebration and dancing, cutting of anniversary cake and many more, leading us to the 4D Crown Music Competition starting by 7 p.m. Wednesday, April 24th shall feature a new and creative virtual 4D Crown engagement and virtual church celebration featuring all the virtual part of 4D Crown and a celebration of our virtual members and church starting at 6.30 p.m. For each of the days of 4D Crown, join our Rise TV team and represent Representatives from each house fellowships in a pre-event phone field 30 minutes countdown show on Arise TV, which starts at 6.30 p.m. CST daily. You will laugh and you'll be lifted. Thursday, April 25th, will feature a special virtual corporate testimony night hangout with our senior pastors chronicling the faithfulness of God open TKP for 18 years, streaming live from 7 p.m. CST. Friday, the 26th of April, features the annual anniversary praise night featuring special ministrations by Tunde Lemeru. Jesu Tomi Ulufua, Ronke Adeshokon, Rati and Wana, and the Kingdom Voices, who feature the Kingdom Seed Choir, the Kingdom Light Choir, and the prestigious TKP Music Academy. Saturday, April 27th, is a day of fun field outreach events for the whole family, featuring community mega outreaches. This day shall feature four outreaches in one. One, free community food distribution starting at 10 a.m. Two, free virtual community immigration consultation outreach via Zoom starting at 10 a.m. Three, community health Health and Wellness Promotion Outreach starting at 10 a.m. 4. TKP Business Trade Show for all entrepreneurs, business owners and professionals starting at 12 p.m. Then, followed by the grand finale of the anniversary Interhouse Sports Competition Parade, both inspection and awards starting at 12 p.m. CST. Sunday, April 28th is the grand finale featuring our annual Thanksgiving and Community Awards in two services 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Power of Power and 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. from Glow to glory. Host pastors, pastors Tunde and Shadi Badru, venue the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace, KTTX Campus 5371 East 5th Street, KTTX 77493. All events shall be streamed live on the King's Palace YouTube channel, King's Palace TV, and on our Facebook and Instagram. For more information, call 2813-917-224 or visit www.rccgthekingspalace.org Invite all your household and friends to come and meet with the God that multiplies his blessing over his children beyond your generation to your future generation.